In this demo, I will demonstrate the formula of Form Builder. We will start by renaming our form to New Contact. And click Confirm when done. We can rename the first page of our form and call it Contact Details. You can create any number of new pages on your form. You can reorder them any way you like. We will have a single page form, so we'll remove the second one. On the right, you will see all the available form elements, starting from inputs like text, email, date, and checkbox. Select tab for select options, emotions, and repeat groups. Media for capturing photos, audio, signatures, and custom graphics to add your logo or banner. If you're using Salesforce, you can add a record lookup field. This will allow your users to find existing information on Salesforce. We will start by adding a new graphic element to our form that will be used for a company logo. You can update the form element by clicking on the pencil icon. We can change the label and name it logo. Here we will choose the file that we want to use and reduce the size of the logo. Confirm changes when done. Now we can see the logo on our form. We will add a text input where we can record the new contact name. Clicking on the pencil icon will allow us to update the label and make this field required. Next we will add a select list where we'll be able to select the preferred method of contact. Here we will add email and phone as the two select options. Now we can add an email field. Rename label to email. You can control form element visibility by selecting the controlling field. These can be select lists, checkboxes, and Salesforce lookups. If email is selected, this field will be displayed. Click Done and confirm the changes. Now let's add a number field for the phone. Again, change the label and select the controlling field. If this is selected, this field will be displayed. Next, we'll add a photo element. This will allow us to capture a new photo or select one from the device library. We'll update the label. We will leave the default quality and indicate that we want the captured images saved to our device library. Next, we will add a signature capture. Again, we can update the label and change the signature input height. As the last element, we will add a Salesforce lookup field. This allows us to search for existing records on Salesforce. First, we'll update the label and select the object we want to use when searching for existing records. For our example, we will select the account as we want to link the new contact to an existing account on Salesforce. We can change the lookup button appearance and label. We can choose to display additional form fields from the account object that will be displayed for search results. We will add name, billing city, and industry. Please make sure these are valid Salesforce field API names. You can update other options like record ownership, add filters, sort results, order them, and more. Before we save our form, we'll update the form settings. Here we can add a description that will be visible to our mobile form users. Select the form fields that will be displayed on captured form entries. We can enable auto repeat that will repeat the form entry after every submission. This is useful for public forms and to make sure users accidentally don't switch between forms. We can disable the form header that allows for better branding 
and disables the option to quit a form. You can disable standard navigation and implement a custom one to skip pages and navigate users based on your workflow. Now we will save all the changes and complete the form. Here we can see the form on a mobile device as it will appear to your users. You can use the account lookup to find existing information on Salesforce and use the select list to control the dependent email and phone fields. Thank you for watching. Please find more guides on our support site, support at formula.com.